I think you're doing a great job um, when it comes to developing something. Because I would, would you say that you're where you want to be when it comes to the brand? To yeah. the brand? No, not at all. Okay, great. No. That, I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. <laughs> I was guessing you would because yeah. um, you have a vision for where you want to go. How, um, how many, it's been seven years, is that right? Seven years. Okay, seven years. How many iterations has Blind gone through in the past seven years, do you think? A thousand, Okay. Right? Yes. Yeah. Can you speak to that? Yeah, definitely. So I... The creative process is never ending, right? You know, and so much that we spoke about earlier, and maybe this was off camera, is like so much of the brand is me, and so much of me had gone into the brand. And I think the the ethos of the brand early on um, was almost like this broken version of myself. You know, was blind something to be seen, heard, and validated? Yes, we have the powerful story. Yes, we have the why. But you know, was this something that? I needed in order for me to feel fulfilled, right? And the more that I became fulfilled within myself, the more that blind started to change. Who's our target audience? Who am I in service to, right? I think the main shift there was like, who am I in service to? Um, and so I think for me, you know, th this thing is constantly evolving. It will constantly evolve. Um, I think dreaming bigger is, is honestly something that I need to do um, because I got to a point where I was like down on my luck like sales weren't what they want, what I wanted them to be. People weren't as hyped about it, right? And don't get me wrong, I go out and people are like, "What the heck is that?" You know, and I tell them the story. They love it. They go to the website and and whatnot. But um, it just wasn't where I want to be. So I was very down on myself. And I think the more that I pick myself up out of that space, the more that there's excitement around it. The more there's like, I know exactly who my team is going to be. I know exactly how we're going to market. I know exactly. Um, so we're just getting more and more to that place, which is awesome. What are the handful of things that shocked you that you learned? They were like, ooh, I wasn't expecting him to learn that. Yeah. Do you yeah. have a few of those? Yeah. Uh, nobody cares. <laughs> Literally. It's one of those things that nobody cares. Like you, you can think you have the, the most beautiful baby in the world and somebody can look at your baby and say, like, that's an ugly baby. Um, you know, and so no one has come up and be like, oh, your brand sucks. It's this, that, whatever. I definitely have friends who joke and they're like, you know, I'm going to make a brand called C, you know, type thing just to mess around with me type thing. But it's... You know, you're, you're really alone in a lot of these things. And, and it's super important to, to build those friends, those community, those people that can help you push this vision and make it bigger. But also just being authentic to yourself, you know. Like, I'm somebody who doesn't like to ask for help. This is a one-man army, one-man job. Like, I created everything by myself, website, logo, clothing. Um, and so, yeah, I, I don't know if I answered your question, but. No, no, you did. So, uh, nobody cares. Uh, are there... And uh, you're going to have to do a lot yeah. of it by yourself and learn from the fire. Yeah. Uh, is there a few more things that maybe came around the corner that you were like, uh, yeah. just as, as others are in a creative process, I think it's important that like you're going to have to iterate yeah. a lot and reiterate a ton. That's something that I've learned in every creative process that I've gone through. I was like, oh, yeah, this is the goal. This is how we're going to get there. And I'm like, oh, man. Here's what I need to do first. What would you say maybe if you could even maybe give, give, maybe give a few more things that you learned? Yeah. But I would love to also, like, if you were going to say, hey, here's a process that I learned that you could maybe even take and run with yourself. I would call this season, you know, season one was titled blank, season two. Like, what are a few different spots where I'll say like, oh, this is where you've got to learn this. And if you don't get this, you can't move forward. Is there anything yeah, like that definitely. that you've learned um, Season one, don't quit your job, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, there's, I love that. there's a job yes. for bills and there's a job for thrills. So I, I was a financial Ooh. advisor and um, was working that job, had the inspiration for Blind, and I felt that I had enough courage to go out and do it. And I was building in the background. And when I was ready to launch, went and did it. And um, had a whole launch party, had friends and family there, did a couple thousand in sales, and you know I was on cloud nine, and then it was crickets. And then I was like, oh my God, what do I need to do now? I don't know Google ads, I don't know Facebook Marketplace, like, or not Facebook Marketplace, I don't know Facebook, right? Um, Fiverr, what was Fiverr at the time? So you know, going to that place, I had to be really resourceful, but I, I ended up living in my grandparents' basement, and I was Uber driving. And I was doing Uber in order to make connections and to network and talk about the brand. And needless to say, it's like the money dries up quick. 
you don't want to live in your grandparents' house any longer. So I would say there's so many creatives out there that are like, oh my God, they have so much passion and so much drive for this thing, and they quit their job. And then before you know it, you're having to backtrack, you're doing this thing, which is great, you get to go all in, but it's like, keep building on the side. You have your nine to five, and then your passion project is your five to nine. Um, so that, that would be season one, chapter title. I, that's I the most important that. thing. I, I love that title. There's a job for bills and there's a job for thrills. <laughs> I think that is a great title. Have you written that book yet? No, no. I'm in the process of writing something. Hey, but, um, yeah. hey, that's TBD. TBD. <laughs> TBD. Yeah. Um, okay. Is there a few, is there a few, uh, so yeah, I love that. That's a huge domino because that domino keeps you in the game. Mm -hmm. If you can't stay in the game, guess what? You can't play. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, and the object is to keep playing the game, mm -hmm. like like to stay in it, to keep iterating, to keep creating. So like, what are, is there a few other things that you'd be like, oh, like, I don't know if this is maybe the next one, but this is definitely one of those dominoes. One of those dominoes? Um, well, I mean, it's just like fashion itself is like, it's, it's very saturated. Yeah. Everybody wants to have a brand, you know? Tell me. I think for me, I started to have this, I wouldn't even say it's like a conflict of interest, but I'm I'm looking at, you know, all of these industries that impact the environment. And I'm not these crazy, like, I love the environment type. Like, I recycle. I do my part. Like, I, I try to do what I can, right? But I was just saw, like, the fashion industry, especially fast fashion, it's, like, it's horrible for nature. Like, it's, like, slave labor, things along those lines. And so I started to be really conflicted. I started to have to find different suppliers and manufacturers. I had to start doing way more due diligence. And so I, I think with some of those things, it's like, this, this is just all a part of the journey. Like, I didn't know any of these things. I didn't know anyone who ever started a fashion brand. I didn't know what I was doing with it. You know, I went to Catholic school growing up, so we wore uniforms every day. I remember going into Payless with my mom and like Goodwill to get pants. And I remember I was just like, for me, like clothing is one of those things. Like, you know, some people's mind, body, soul, other people are like mind, body, clothes. Um, and so uh, for me, I was like, this is going to be a way that I express myself. Um, but no, that, that iteration happens all the time. There's so much competition. How do you stay relevant in, in today's time? So much of that is attention. You know, how, how can I pry for your attention? Whether that be TikTok, whether that be Instagram, whether that's, and I think with that creative process, it's can I post every day? Can I post every day by myself doing this? You know, who are going to come model for me, right? I had to teach myself photography because I went to a photographer and they're like, this is going to be 400 bucks. And I'm like, I'm going to buy a $400 camera and take a photo. So um, being resourceful is another domino. 